Have you guys ever heard of this instrument called a hurdy-gurdy? You know, it's new to me. Um, I, I'm a music guy and an instrument guy, but this is something that kind of escaped my attention and my knowledge throughout the years. It's a very interesting looking instrument. Um, it's kind of like an accordion, maybe? I don't even know. I'm not exactly sure how to describe this. A band I reacted to a couple months ago, uh, a lady played it, and it's a very unique instrument. I'll just say that. I'm not exactly sure how it works. But somebody in the Nightwish React Aside Discord a couple weeks ago provided this link and said, hey, maybe one of your reactors might want to check this out. And I'm like, hey, I'm a reactor. I'll do it. <laughs> so here we are. Um, this is a cover. It's Pantera's Cowboys from Hell. I know a lot of you have been asking uh, throughout many reactions that I've done to say, hey, cover some Pantera. We'd love to see your reaction to Pantera. Unfortunately, I'm already very familiar with all of their music. Uh, back in the day, I used to play in a Pantera cover band. Um, as a wee young lad, as a drummer. Um, so I'm already very familiar with the music, and it'd be disingenuous for me to do so. However, we can do something like this today and kind of rediscover some of that music on an instrument that I'm not exactly familiar with. All right, let's uh, switch screens. Let's get right on into it. Pantera, Cowboys from Hell, on the Hurdy Gurdy, Gurdy with uh, uh, drums cover as well. Okay, so there's drums in here somewhere. Uh, let's go. Kind of sounds like an accordion. I mean, look at this thing. Look at this thing. I First off, I already love this dude. <laughs> like his old vibe. Um, all right, so this is the instrument. This is the thing right here. Uh, this right over here are um, their notes, much like you'd find with an accordion, kind of. Uh, little tabs or little things are sticking up there. I'm not sure exactly what to call them. Uh, and he's spinning this little crank over here. And what that does is it either it either forces air in there somehow, or he's either building some sort of electric charge <laughs> that's affecting the sound. Uh, you can also see right here, I believe, and I know it's kind of difficult to see, and I do apologize, I believe that is some sort of string as well. Oh, and the other side as well. So there is some sort of string here that I think that you can manipulate as well. Uh, but look, he's got a drag at the tip of it. This looks like a medieval torture device. Uh, very, very cool looking. And it looks like he's going to be playing the whole song himself on this hurdy-gurdy, as they call it, uh, with a couple bass drum kicks. Um, now, right off the bat, I can definitely hear snare coming in through that. So I'm assuming he's using some sort of trigger, and uh, he must have one of the kicks uh, set up to a trigger. Uh, I think, I'm assuming it'll probably be in the left. <laughs> Yeah, it's left. His left foot is, is a snare. Look at that thing. Okay, sorry to pause here. How is he getting that sort of expression out of it? Like he's changing the expression of the notes, and I can't quite see how he's doing it. Uh, very clever the way he was able to lift that metal strap up and snap it down, uh, almost as a uh, extension of a snare, or maybe as he was trying to work that as a hi hat. Let's take that back there a little bit, because he's also getting um, some. Uh, I guess I'm gonna call it reverb. I'll just call it reverb out of it, um, or, or just a disdain, or yeah, disdain out of it, I guess. Let's see if I can figure out how he's doing it.
All right, it looks just as simple as he's holding down one of the notes and he's just kind of flicking off the other side. So I guess he's just holding the note down. And when you hold the note down, you're you're forcing that much either energy or air, or how, however that crank thing works. It uh, it you just it just holds it down like that. Very cool. Very cool. Damn, dude. there almost sounds like a wind instrument <laughs> i don't think that there's like a, i don't think this maybe it's plugged into something i don't know maybe there's some sort of effect going through that maybe it's just how it sounds once you get over here oh, oh the screen once it gets over here to these uh high notes over here it sounds like it's cracking like there's really some expression on those notes um it doesn't seem like he's like there's like the fact that he's pushing in like it's, it's got like one one function like it pushes in you hear the note it'll hold the note take it off and that's done i don't think that you can hold it and kind of like go like that to get expression out of it i think it's all about the crank there uh but wow that is a unique sound and it almost sounds like i said like a a, a wind instrument mixed with some sort of um electric i don't even know it sounds almost like a wind Take that back just a second there. All right, so that little metal flap thing opens. There's another string hidden underneath it. So we got two strings there, two th strings back there, and I think either maybe two th strings in there. So we got essentially a six-string style guitar being run by a crank. Uh, what's he sitting? Is that a wire back there? No, there's no mic pack or there's no effects pack on him. I can see what he'd be doing. Uh, but very, very cool. And it looks like he's pushing that um, that string pretty dang hard to get that sort of expression out of it. Yeah, he's putting some pressure on that. dude god damn dude oh man i i enjoy this dude's whole vibe here let's take that back here oh shit um this thing is cool this thing is cool um i really enjoy that little slap thing there okay so is it a stringed instrument is it an electronic charge? I don't believe it's wind. It's definitely not. Maybe it's no. I don't know how this thing works. I don't know exactly what this thing is. <laughs> that thing twirls the string, so it must be applying pressure. I don't know. It's the weirdest instrument I think I've ever seen, and it has a very unique sound. It's part accordion, part electric guitar. Uh, really cool, interesting setup. Who here? He's got his uh, drums too. Let's uh, pause this for a second and take a quick look. Um, all right, so he's got two uh, double bass kicks over here, a bunch of different uh, pedals, probably for playing different little things, expressions over here. Now, he may have been at one point in time using one of these pedals to affect some of the distortion on it when he gets up there, or maybe that's just how it sounds when he plays some of the higher notes. Uh, but it definitely did sound like it was cracking. That could be due to the crank or him using some sort of effects pedal there, I'm assuming. But I think it wasn't the pedal. I think it had something to do with the crank there. Um, Interesting, cool little setup this guy has here, uh, and I believe these drums, uh, it must be triggered somehow. Uh, this one right over here for sounding like a snare of sorts. Um, 
which is interesting because he's got two double bases on this one, but he's only using one to hit. I guess he could have done it with a snare and that. Maybe that'd be too much work back and forth. I don't know. I'm overanalyzing his foot setup, uh, but very, very cool to see. Um, what an instrument, though, guys, huh? Look at this thing. This thing is, I'm going to, I guess I'm going to call it an electric guitar accordion, an accordion guitar. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, it, he's making it look easy, but something tells me this thing is probably pretty difficult to play. It's probably some, I mean, it's not something you see everywhere. I mean, I'm assuming it's a fairly expensive instrument, too. I wonder what these things run for, but watching this guy rock out with this thing, it's making me want to jump over to Amazon or something and pick up a cheap one and just see if I can. You know, string together a couple chords or something. Uh, it's pretty cool. I wonder if he can change. He must be able to change the tuning somehow. Because I believe what's happening is somehow maybe these uh, these little tabs that he's hitting there. And he can't really see it under here. But maybe it's touching the string. So much like a guitar. As he's you know turning it, it might just be pushing that in. Or maybe it's just a different instrument part itself where it's, there's a string inside the guitar or something. Or in this hurdy-gurdy. I don't know. Something tells me it's probably just basic six strings, uh, much like a guitar. You sing two right there, two right there on the inside, and two on the outside. So I highly doubt there's any strings on the inside there. But I could definitely be wrong because I'm just not familiar with this instrument at all. So I guess what I'm assuming is, yeah, okay, so you can kind of see back here, there's little metal things. Um, so I'm assuming those tabs that he's hitting there are, is, it's like little fingers, like on a guitar string. So I'm assuming that's what it's doing. But something about these strings, um, which are metal, they're not nylon or anything, something about that when you crank it, I think it vibrates the string in such a way. No, it can't do that. Maybe it vibrates these things. Maybe cranking it, it vibrates these little tabs, and then the vibration is what touches the string, and then that's where you get the note from. I don't know. <laughs> I could be completely wrong. Uh, I've seen one band use it. I've never seen... Um, I've never seen something like this though, this little in depth. So this is it, it's piquing my curiosity. What a cool sounding instrument this is though, um, and um, to Pantera too. Yeah, that's my theory. That's my theory that that crank thing is somehow uh, vibrating the little tabs that he's clicking. I dig it. I dig this this dude's whole vibe. I dig his whole setup here. Um, I like the intro to the video too. How he's just kind of like some guy just walks into his cabin. And just seeing this dude rocking out to some uh, hurdy-gurdy Pantera. Badass, man. Badass. I'm going to be sure to link this guy's channel down below because something tells me he probably does a lot of other music like this. And I'd love to see some of his other works with hurdy-gurdy. Uh, but, hey, if you guys enjoyed today's music... Hold on. Okay, so I'm getting... I'm, this is interesting. Sorry, I, I was about to stop the video and I saw something interesting here. So these are the tabs that he's hitting. Okay, so there's a top and a bottom to it. Uh, just like maybe you'd find with a, a piano, like you have your your, your majors and your, your minors kind of thing in there. But then it looks like behind that as well is a tab that these tabs hit to possibly have that metal thing about that little uh, metal thing out that might be vibrating from the crank to uh, hit the hit the the string to make that interesting sound. I think that's what's going on here. But I didn't realize at first that there was um, this was kind of layered where you had a down, I believe you can hit, and then an up. So I wonder if it comes up and it hits a string that way somehow if it changes the sound. I've got too many too many questions. Oh, and here is this a mic? Is that a mic right there? Sorry, I've got too many questions. I mean, is this part of the instrument? I know. I think this is a mic. Yeah, this is a mic that's lined in over here, and it's taking the sound from the strings up over on this side. It's like a backwards guitar, where instead of it going shorter up, it goes wider up. Dude, I don't know. This instrument is just messing with my head. <laughs> if you know more about this instrument, and you want to be kind, and you want to tell me about it, or if you play this instrument, dude, I would love to hear from you, and I got some questions, man. So if you play this instrument, uh, send me a message. I, I have some questions. Um, really cool, cool. Uh, recommendation. Thank you to whoever shared that on the uh, Nightwish Reactive Side Discord. I, I have more questions than answers with this one, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, this is intriguing, to say the least. And you know what? Hey, it sounded awesome, too. And it's good to hear some uh, Pantera. Uh, it's been a couple years for me, so... It's good to hear some of that as well. If you enjoyed today's content, please consider liking and subscribing. I do this sort of thing all the time. I'd love to have you here. Uh, I'm going to catch you out on tomorrow's video. Good night, everybody.